Hey everybody, and welcome to Polly's Crochet Creations. Okay, it's Tori. I'm going to show you how to do this stitch tutorial. And this stitch tutorial is, I call it the cobblestone stitch. Um, I don't know if anybody's done it, but it's something that I came up with. I was just playing around. I've got the cobblestone beanie. I've got the cobblestone messy bun hat. And I love this stitch. This is absolutely wonderful. It's a one row repeat and it's very, very simple to do. Um, it is done in multiples of three plus five. Now, um, I am using a five millimeter crochet hook. So a five millimeter crochet hook and this yarn here that I'm going to be using is um, ice cream big scoops in the color uh, unicorn for my display or my per uh, crochet tutorial purpose. So this is done in multiples of three plus five. Okay, so you're going to chain three one two three and then three more one two three 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 okay so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 32, and 33. So we got a chain of 33. Okay. Now you're going to chain five more. Um, the reason we're chaining five more is uh, for the First double crochet, the last double crochet, and the first front post. So one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I'm not in the screen. And then one, two, three. You're gonna double crochet in the third chain from the hook, <clears throat> or the fourth chain from the hook, and you're gonna double crochet all the way down to the end. Okay, so one double crochet in each stitch. If I was better at the back loop or the back bump, then I would do it in the back bump, but I'm not all that great at it. So just one double crochet <coughs> in each stitch. And I'm really hoping this works out. It is a one row repeat. So this the second row after doing these double crochets is going to be the repeat row. Sometimes when I'm doing the uh, foundation chain in the first row, <laughs> I do tend to mess up. And there's always a way to fudge it if you do. <sighs> so. Uh, if you like the video, 
when you're done. I would really appreciate it if you could um, give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Also, um, if you haven't, um, Mika, my cat's bugging me, sorry. And when you're done, when I'm done this row, I'm going to count how many stitches I have just to make sure that I have enough. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if at all possible, I would really, really appreciate it if people would actually start leaving comments in my channel because YouTube looks at all the algorithms. So if I do a video and people aren't leaving comments, then... It's telling YouTube that I'm not any good. Um, and the more comments that I get on any video is helping my channel out. and like I said you can use this stitch for pretty much anything that you want right now I'm working on a scarf um, with this stitch um, and I've done a cobblestone hat with this stitch which I'm going to actually do a full tutorial on the cobblestone hat um, I haven't been doing a lot of crocheting lately because uh, last week, I believe it was last week, I actually took a fall and I bruised this whole side of my wrist and up into my hand when I fell. So that's why I haven't been crocheting a lot. <clears throat> it does hurt doing this, but... I want to get this stitch tutorial out. And I do have a Facebook page and it's called Polly's Crochet Creations. Now, if you do this tutorial, you do the stitch pattern, whatever, uh, and you try it out, I'd really like for you to pop a picture on my uh, Facebook group page. Um, yes, there's a few questions that you have to answer. Um, and like I said, if you're a member of my Facebook page, then you can post uh, your um, works on my Facebook page. I am proud of everybody that posts their pictures of their works. I ask that you be nice in my Facebook group. No criticizing people. Um, my group is, or our group is, um, a group where we can uplift people and where people can be proud of what they do. And that's why I started the group. Um, so we're going to count the stitches. So we've got this stitch here is um the last stitch so that's where the double crochet would be so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six so I'm hoping this will be enough to do this stitch. 
So the next round is the repeat round. Make sure you're grabbing the right string. Okay. So to start off with, we're going to chain one. And in this same stitch, you're going to double crochet. You always start off with a chain one. And in that same stitch, it's always going to be a double crochet. So then you yarn over and you go around the front post of the next stitch like this. Okay. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over and go through two. Now that is a front post double crochet. These two next stitches here are going to be back post double crochets. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go in the back loop, you're going to draw up a loop, okay, then you have three hooks or three loops on your hook, you're going to go through two, and then you're going to go through two. Do that again. You're going to yarn over, you're going to go in behind and around to the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two more. So there's your two back loops. Okay. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to go through the front. Sorry, my cat wants to play. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to go through the front loop. So you're going to go in here and up through the front like so. Okay. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Go through two. Yarn over. Go through two. Yarn over. Go in the back. So these next two stitches here are going to be back loops. So you're going to yarn over. You're going to go in the back. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go in the back, and then around the back. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, and then you're going to yarn over. Your next stitch right here is going to be a front row or front post. Go through the front, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Now, this is the pattern that you're getting, okay? So you start with your your front po or your double crochet at the very first stitch. Then you go to the back post or the front post. Then you do one, two, back post. Then you get a front post, one, two, back post, and then you get a front post. Now, sometimes it helps to put a stitch marker um, right here just give me one second so sometimes it helps to put a stitch marker in your very first top of your very first double crochet okay and when you get to the other end if you have a stitch marker for the other end you can put a um, stitch marker here in the last double crochet okay so you're yarning over you're going through the back loop around the back pull up a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go through the next back post yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull go through two and yarn over go, over, go through two now we're going to do a front post right here so this is a front post Then your next two stitches right here and here, you're going to do a back post. Come on, get in there. Back loop. Okay, so it's a back post. Yarn over, go through the front. Yarn over, go through the back. Mika. And yarn over. So we've got 
Sorry. No. So we're going to go through the back loop again. In the back. Okay. And now we're going to do another front post. And then we're going to go into the back post. So you just keep doing this. One front post, two back posts. Until we get three stitches to the end. Okay, so I'm to almost to the end. I've got three, four stitches left. Okay, so that's one. One, two, three, and then four. Okay, so we're going to go. We've just finished our front post. Let's pull this up a little bit so you can see. Okay, so we've just finished our front post here. Now we're going to do two back posts. One. And two back posts. Okay. So we've got a front post and then your two back posts. This one here, this stitch here is going to be a front post. So that one right there is going to be a front post. Front post. Pull up a loop. Go through two. Go through two. And then you have one. And it likes to curl in. But you have one more stitch right here. So you're going to go in through the top of that stitch right there. That's your last stitch. And then you're going to do a double crochet okay so this is what it looks like okay you have so you have your first double crochet front post two back post one front post two back post one front post Two back posts, one front post, two back posts, one front post, two back posts, one front post, two back post, 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 one front post, two back post. Then you're going to end with front post and you're going to end with a double crochet. So that's how you start the row and you finish the row. One double crochet in the first chain stitch, the first chain one. Then you do a front post, two back posts, front post, two back posts. And that's how you do the repeat. So you're going to flip it over. Okay. And that's what you're getting on the other side. And you're going to take your yarn. Let me just pull out a little bit more yarn. So I can show you the next row. So. The next row you're going to chain one that chain one does not count as a stitch okay then you're going to do a double crochet in your very same chain one spot so you're going to start with your double crochet then you're going to go front post around it'll look like a back post but it's not it's actually the front post from the previous row and then these two here look like front posts, but they're actually back posts from the previous row. So we're going to do two back posts in these two stitches. Okay, so a back post. Put your hand, put your yarn, your hook through the back and go through the other side. Draw up a loop. Let's do that again. Draw up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. Go through two, go through two. That's one back post. And then the second back post. Okay. Then you're going to do the front post again. One front post. And then you're going to do these two stitches here that look like they're front posts. We're going to do back posts on those. OK. 
okay? So one and two. And then the next stitch here is going to be a front post. And that's all you do through this whole stitch is you do one front post and then these next two stitches here are back posts. And you will always have one front post and two back posts. If you don't from the very beginning, then you've made a mistake in the stitch count. Um, and that's, like I said, that's easily corrected. You just take out your work and then you go for a front post. Just take out your work and then try it again. You can do this. This is a very easy stitch pattern. Um, and like I said, you can make uh, vests. You can make jackets. You can make you can make pretty much anything with this. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to do a jacket with this. And then, like I said, it's just the back post. Back post. Front post. Back post. Back post. Front post. I will do one more row with you. And then I'll let you toddle off and try this yourself. So you, as you can see, the cobblestone pattern is actually starting to happen. Because um, you will get a different effect on the other side. Because this is the other side. But it, to me, it looks like over in England, you have the cobblestones. And that's what it looks like to me. Um, I just, I call it the cobblestone stitch. Could we have another name? I am not sure. But I haven't looked in any books. Um, and I don't think I've ever seen it on uh, line. Um, my friends who I sh have showed this to, they have never seen the stitch online either. Um, so... So I've done the one front post, two back post. Now I'm doing a front post again. So when you flip it, it's always going to be one front post and then two back post. I got my cousin really good the other day because um, the other day I said to her, she's a knitter. And I said to her, I said, you know, I said, I really love to see this cobblestone pattern done up in knitting. <laughs> that was yesterday. And her mind has not stopped working to try and design the same pattern that I'm doing right now in knitting. And I'm just like, well, I only gave you the idea. I didn't mean for you to like... I'm afraid to bug you, but I love my cousin dearly. So, um, and a lot of people that I've talked to love this stitch and they are, uh, they're glad that I actually did this stitch. Give me one second. So, um, you're doing your last two back posts on this row. Okay. Aaron likes to argue every once in a while. And then you have your front post stitch and then your double crochet left in this one. Okay. So you do yarn over and you go through the front. Pull through two, pull through two. And then your very last double crochet it's going to go in here in this right here that's another reason why I use the um, stitch marker so this is what you've got now 
your second row is uh, you start off with your um, chain one your double crochet in this the same stitch so chain one and then your double crochet in that chain one stitch and then your front post two back post 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 and front post you end with a front post and then your double crochet in the very last stitch right from the previous round okay so you're gonna chain turn your work okay I always remove the stitch marker so when I do my next round I put the stitch marker in at the beginning so I don't forget where I started okay so chain one and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to do a double crochet in that same chain one spot okay then you're going to take your stitch marker and you're going to do put it right there's your double crochet so you're going to put it right here in this stitch right here that's going to tell you that's your last stitch in the next row okay then you're going to again yarn over and this next stitch is going to be a front post okay so front post and then these two stitches here they become back posts okay so you got one front post two back posts then these, this stitch here, you're going to do a front post. And then these next two, you're going to do back posts. And that's this whole pattern. It's a one row repeat. Very easy to do. And I would really love it if you could just fly with this pattern. Um and front post to back post if you make anything i'd really appreciate it if you could post it on my facebook page um two back posts then we're gonna front post and then we get two back posts Okay, gotta pull some more yarn out. So, like I said, I really hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I've been meaning to do it for a while now. I'm also going to be doing the cobblestone beanie. I have to redo my uh, beanies because I made them so that they were hard to follow. Um, so I got to redo them. I apologize. Uh, I'm going to do the video on how to do the row increase rows for almost all of my beanies. And then I will show you uh, the other beanies. I can do the cobblestone um, messy bun hat. I can show you that probably in the next couple videos. So, and then like I said. This is the one row repeat, and right now I'm working on a very large blanket for this. Uh, the blanket that I made, I crocheted 205, and like I said, if the stitch count doesn't work out, then there's always a way to fudge it, because I got uh, 205 on my blanket, and when I got to the end of the row of... Um, front post back posts because I did the row and then I did a what do you call it uh, a row of double crochets and then I started my front post back post well when I got to the last two stitches I didn't have enough stitches so I just kind of fudged it and there's always a way to fudge things and you know I don't get too hung up on mistakes that I've made um, I am OCD 
and I do know that they have uh, like I personally try to make it so that it is I made a mistake there um, so your front post two back posts I um, if I'm making it for somebody else then I will try and make sure that everything is like a hundred percent I would say pure uh, the way I want it um, no mistakes at all but if it's just like um, I try not to get too hung up on making a mistake because in life you're always going to make a mistake and don't get down on yourself if you've made a mistake is my opinion um, and then like I said this is really easy mindless uh, pattern um, you can sit here and just pretty much feel your way through the one front post two back post uh, watching movies whatever it's it's really simple um, this here you can just leave the blanket the way it is or you can do a border around it um, if anybody's interested in me doing a border around a blanket then please put it in the description box and I will show you how to do a border around the blanket um, and you can do very, very every, a lot of different borders okay so that's a back post this is a back post there we got one front post two back posts okay one front post two back post see I made a mistake but I got it before I went to the other row. So one front post and the next two stitches are two back post. And then you're left with two stitches at the end. Now this is a front post stitch. And this one here, right here, where I'm holding the, right there, that is your double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, and you're going to go right in that stitch. There. Pull up a loop, and do your double crochet. okay so then your next round you would take this you have this stitch marker for your next round then the the round after you take this one here when you chain one and you turn your work then you're going to move if you're using stitch markers you're going to take this stitch marker out of here and then you're going to place it in your very first double crochet so you've done your chain one and then you're going to do your double crochet in that first stitch okay and then you're going to take your stitch marker and you're going to place it right here and that is your first stitch your first double crochet stitch okay so like I said, this is what you end up with. Um, that's how this is how you did the stitch tutorial. This is what you're going to end up with right here. Um, you can put a border around this if you are interested in me putting a border or showing you how to do a border. Then please put them in the description box below, and I will show you that. So. Um, I bid you good day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like it. Give it a like. Um, give it a uh, share. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And like I said, if you love the tutorial or like the tutorial, please put it in the comments below down below. 
if you want me to do a border around this uh, swatch I can show you how to do a border and just pop that down in the comments below thank you for watching you have a great day evening weekend wherever you may be oh and I forgot to tell you if you find something on YouTube that you like to do or you're interested in doing don't quit keep trying because eventually you'll get it and um you know i know you can do it you have a great day evening weekend wherever you may be and you guessed it it's coming keep on hooking bye for now